I have been suffering with PCOS from so many years. These are the list of the things. I'll just read it out. Insulin resistance and pre-diabetic irregular periods. Thinning of hair and baldness. There's nothing here. It's just, yeah, cover. Excessive facial and body hair. Yeah, you can see my mustache. Good days. On good days, you can see my mustache. And you can see my beard. And there is a lot of hair on stomach and also on chest. And excessive weight around the belly. All the visceral part, which is not good for you. And poor body image, eating disorder, tendencies. Yes. Ovarian cyst. And psychological stress and depression. Heavy periods, spotting for many days. Periods are there for so many days. Mood swings and anxiety. Anxiety. Oh my God. Don't get me started. That. Uh, blackness around the neck and some patches of blackness under her arms and also on the thighs and pelvic area. Unable to lose weight. Fertility issues and extreme fatigue and lethargy. There is hot pleasures and this, these are all the symptoms and So I have been diagnosed with PCOS when I'm 16. So back in India, what happens is till 10th, you play games, you are in playground every, like one hour every day. And you, I, I used to play a lot. I used to be a tomboy. So I played a lot and had, there, there was a lot of physical activity. And once your 10th is done for plus one and plus two, or we call it inter, we are shipped into a hostel where it's just go to college, come back, eat something and study, study, study. Study hours they are called. Actually, we did not study that much, but anyways, <laughs> so that is, so zero physical activity. Never stepped up in a ground or never played anything. That is when I started putting on weight. I start my periods became irregular and the periods were so painful and everything and fast forward this happened when i'm 16 right so fast forward when i'm 20 years old uh there is a cyst with somewhere around 800 ml of liquid cyst imagine a balloon it's all filled with liquid that's a cyst and uh i was diagnosed and uh it, it was getting painful some days and i had severe severe stomach ache so i went in and i checked and they said one or the other day it's gonna be it's gonna burst till that if you want to wait you can wait or if you have time like once your academic case year is done you can get a surgery done and remove the cyst through laparoscopy remove the cyst through laparoscopy that that is what the doctor have said and this consultation is done and after one month or so I got severe stomach ache and it is if it is festival time, a big festival in India, Ganesh Chaturthi. They did a laparoscopy in 2010. That is when I'm 20 years old and it was successful and yeah, still, but the weight kept on increasing and there are so many symptoms I want to talk about and I've been fasting for five months. So what changes I have seen and uh, what really worked for me. If somebody doesn't want to hear about the raw, unfiltered and triggering content about PCOS and its symptoms, you can skip this part to the next chapter. And now I want to get deep into one uh, issues one by one and explain how it is. I wanted you to understand you're not alone in this and I know PCOS is hard and I know I have been I have been struggling with it from 18 years so I know I know as a teenager when it's when it happened and how hard it was and through all these years how it mentally impacted me how it changed my brain chemistry and everything I know. I know I have been through that and 
it's maybe it's a different type of struggle but it's a struggle i want to that is the reason i want to get into it not only uh, i wanted to explain about how fasting changed everything but i wanted you to understand how intense these issues were it's not just a low level of pc worse it's it's severe pc worse we are talking about where it it went to surgery and i have been suffering from so many years and not only irregular periods but it comes with whole a plethora of things it comes with so many other things it it ruins you it actually ruins you mentally and physically and it takes every every ounce of hope in you so so i wanted to elaborate on things insulin resistance and pre diabetic so you know insulin resistance is you your body loses a sensitivity to insulin and for somebody who needs some little amount of insulin for for it to do its work for it to take all the sugars that are that you consume and uh, send it to the required cells and the organs for somebody with pcos for somebody with insulin resistance it requires a lot of insulin to do that because your body uh loses sensitivity that is what insulin resistance is and regarding irregular periods irregular periods are so fun you don't know when they are coming you don't know when they are going to complete you don't know when they when you will see them next and it will be for somebody who is trying for a kid they understand with pcos it gets crazy because you don't know when your ovulation time is and all that I have been through that so irregular periods irregular periods has been happening from so many years before when i was around like 23 ish to 20 26 or 27 yoga used to help me with irregular periods i i i wouldn't become like fit in not in obese category but i used to be in overweight like upper overweight categories but yoga used to help to get my periods regular and i mean uh, if i'm doing yoga at least they're not dot on 30 days but at least they are like they would come make an appearance for every two months or 45 days or three months if i don't do yoga at all in those years nothing nothing is to happen for a few like four or five months nothing and i i have to take um pills and that is how i have to do uh, something externally to get my periods once they are there like as you are taking medicines and as you are doing yoga and you get your period one or the other way if, if the period is coming after 3 months or 2 months or 4 months what's happening is heavy bleeding and the bleeding used to last for like somewhere around 8 days 10 days and you would see spotting like few days before itself you don't know if the period is coming or not coming it's just spotting we don't know and even after the period ended some days it used to it used to be a good flow and some days it used to stop and start again and see some spotting you have to keep excessive facial and body hair like i said excessive facial and body hair like i said so much of hair here so i have to use epilator every two days and clear the hair out and so much of hair here and they're not just small hairs they grow so long i wish like everybody says that right i wish all this hair that is growing here and here on the belly on the chest area and all these things i hope it grows on my head exactly on this spot it will be so nice you know so much of hair and it makes you conscious when you are 16 and you're seeing that uh, like you you're staying in a all girls hostel you look at people and think oh, why why god why what did i do like it's i it's not like i ate something bad i did something bad i'm just 16 i'm like every other kid i did not even eat bad food and uh when when coming to bad food 
I wasn't eating bad food at all because my my father got paralysis, brain stroke paralysis when I was six years old. So my mother is so conscious of the food we are eating because uh, my father cannot eat bad food. So like bad junk or oily food or something which is bad for you so it is mostly it used to be vegetarian and good lighter food so i'm used to that and i actually enjoy that like good vegetarian food with all the vegetables and dal and stuff so never oily food since i'm not used to it growing up till 16 years i wasn't eating any bad food even after that i wasn't eating bad food i was vegetarian for like till i'm 24 or 25 so i'm not eating outside that much i'm not eating uh, junk food i'm not eating fried food and stuff so like looking at every other person seeing seeing myself while i'm putting on weight eating the same thing as them and eating less to be frank because i already became conscious of my body at 16. this this excessive hair did not help at all this hair hair on the chin hair on the lips hair on the stomach i used to be so conscious of that I did my master's in Cleveland State University, Ohio, 2011 to 2013 batch. The tuition fees costed around 45,000 or something. So I completed my graduation and I never did my grad walk because I'm so conscious. Uh, I did not have the guts in me to try a dress to I thought even if I get a dress, even if I buy a dress, I won't look pretty. I mean, I would look so ugly. And wow, I can't even imagine. I kept on postponing saying I'll reduce weight, I'll get fit. Uh, things will get better and I'm going to walk next year. I'm going to walk next semester. And I kept on postponing and postponing for two, three years, I guess. And then it never happened. I never, I never did my grad walk. <laughs> I did my master's in engineering and I never did my grad walk because I was so conscious to put on a dress and walk in front of those many people and I never wore a dress. So that would, I thought this would be my first time and I would look so bad. My arms would look bad, my face would look bad, my legs would look bad and I have it. The belly area which looks like cylinder and all these things like what's in your head keeps filling you with doubts right yeah it's it's all the things should i explain it more deeply than this you understood right like i'm 23 years old at that time 25 years old still i did not have it in me to wear a dress and walk and take the graduation certificate which i have completed for which I have studied and completed. So yeah, that is that is how bad it is. Eating disorder tendencies, okay. I never understood the feeling of satiation when I'm with everybody, somebody like somebody of my age group and somebody is eating. When they are done, uh, like after eating for some time, when they are done eating, they will say, I'm full, I'm done. I never understood that. Like I never, because my body is so insulin resistant, it never let me feel satiated. It felt like I need more sugars, I need more sugars, I need to eat more. Uh, I don't feel full, I never felt satiated, so I kept on eating till I'm this high. Like how are these people feeling satiated? How are these people looking at food and thinking, ah, I'm full and... Uh, like I could eat in the morning, I could eat in the afternoon, I could eat in the evening. Nobody explained and I never knew. I thought this blackness is coming because I'm not taking a bath properly and I used to sit there, rub it, rub it, rub it, like take soap and rub it, rub it for so many minutes and yeah, I, I used to do pretty intense 
work on it and it would turn red that bad it was and I used to yeah with the nails I would try to uh, it would feel like dirt right I would try to yeah clean the dirt off it and something like that all these things not only after taking long long baths uh, you take a towel and hoping it would take the, we can rub the dirt off I would uh, put so much pressure with the towel and try to clean it looking okay, where how, how silly is it why nobody explain why didn't I research I don't know I mean at 15 years we did not have access to internet and stuff yeah. who saw it who obviously when I'm not aware there are people who, who will be not aware too so they would say yeah it looks so dirty what happened what is all the dirt are you not taking bath properly yeah yeah good one <laughs> there are so many people and I even remember the places where we stood and where they said those dialogues like I remember every little detail of the moment they said that who said that and how I reacted and how I couldn't react and it's just tears down running down my cheeks because I'm I'm doing everything I can. I don't know what it is. I was trying to take longer baths, use the soap which is more powerful, rub it, wash it for so many minutes and soak in the soak in the bath and then bring the towel and do it again, do it all over again till it becomes red and somebody would randomly observe observe like a friend or a cousin or somebody in there and yeah just say that and it starts all over again you just want to escape from that gathering where they have said it because you can't face and you think everybody would be talking about that that thinking that you're dirty and you're not taking bath properly and all oh, why did i sign up for this this is this is so extreme fatigue and lethargy so once i eat a meal because this is because of insulin resistance i understand it now once i eat a meal i used to feel so sleepy like i used to complete the meal and then go lie down and yeah take a take a nap for one hour or two hours or something like that and along with that uh after four hours of time i used to feel that there is no energy left in me and I need to eat something to make me roll. Hot flushes. Along with irregular periods, hot flushes and sensitivity to sun. Like I could never go out. I used to it feel it used to feel like pins and needles is poking on my skin. I could never withstand the heat and I always used to feel hot even if the temperature in the home is running 70 I still used to feel so hot hot flashes at the age of 30 31 32 it's just crazy it's like it has to happen when you are hitting menopause not at 30 31 in the prime age yeah insomnia I never used to sleep well like I don't remember nights where I'm like, yeah, that's a good, uh, that's a good night. I slept well, no. If you don't sleep properly and next day, obviously there would be, your energy would be low. You feel you have no control on what you're eating and all that. All the fun stuff comes with insomnia. And I want to talk about how fasting has helped me with PCOS symptoms. There are some symptoms which are uh, work in progress. There are some symptoms I'm not seeing anymore. And there are some symptoms we can't do anything about it and we just have to live with it. Uh, the first one is insulin resistance and pre-diabetic. I started my one meal a day on February 1st and somewhere around May, mid of the May, uh, like three and a half-ish months after, I took a test to check my insulin levels, my uh, to check my blood sugar levels and also my A1C. My A1C which was 8.1, 8.2 was uh, around 5.8. It went into normal range within three months. That's amazing, you know. Then also the blood sugar levels are in diabetic range. They, are, they also came up to normal range. So that's a win. And I see the difference now. 
along with the insulin resistance comes the lethargy comes the energy crashes so uh, i see how uh, reduced uh, insulin resistance increasing insulin sensitivity has made a difference that is solely done by fasting that is one win one point for fasting and insomnia i'm sleeping better and i what amazes me is like i'm sleeping better i wake up in the morning feeling like oh is this how it feels like to have a good night's sleep wow it's amazing uh heavy periods and spotting uh, for me with pcos uh, if there is any medication taken you don't know when the period is going to come how many days it's going to stay you can't plan any temple visits any vacations i mean it's hard like some days uh, you see spotting for 5-10 days before the period and after while having period it's never 5 days it's it, it used to go on for 7 days, 8 days, 10 days uh, I used to bleed for a couple of days and then stop bleeding and spotting starts again then bleeding starts again it's it's always a guess game now the period is sharp 5 days and it comes on dot 30 days and no kissing game anymore and the bleeding is not that heavy and there is no spotting and this is how period is supposed to feel everything everything feels like this is this how uh, feeling satiated feels huh is this how feeling like having a good night's sleep feels like is this how having a period feels like proper period i mean everything is a revelation everything is like wow is this how it feels to feel full and to feel satiated this is why everybody can feel full and say yeah i'm done with that confidence uh, everything amazes me at this point like <laughs> all the things i have been suffering from so many years like it has become the normal for me i don't know it any other way 16 years is super young guys and I got my first period at 14 years so like all my years I remember my periods like that so everything feels so amazing right now everything feels brighter everything feels more colorful mood swings and anxiety uh, anxiety is a work in progress mood swings are not there anymore thank you for my husband for putting up with me all those years right I used to like snap at him I used to there is no reason if a cancelled plan also used to upset me i used to cry and i used to remember all the things that went wrong in my life and it's like turn on the video and watch all those things and now sit and cry yeah it's like that it's everything used to trigger me the bright sun used to trigger me going out used to trigger me everything now it's all gone blackness around the neck is reducing the blackness in the armpits the blackness in the pelvic area is reducing so it's in between uh, ask me after six more months or something i'll say uh, maybe that would be a point for fasting unable to lose weight oh i have lost from february 1st to this is june 26th somewhere around 205 to I am around 158 pounds, so somewhere around 47 pounds. That's a win, guys. That's a win. So I'm losing weight, and yeah, that's a win for fasting too. For fertility issues, I I'm not trying for another kid, but by looking at the uh, regular periods, I think it's it's getting better. I think it's feeling better. There are no painful periods or anything, so it's good. Uh, extreme fatigue and lethargy. Uh, like in one of my previous videos I was saying like with 36 hours of fast I went to concert I have food all around me and I was still happy I did not feel like eating because it's my fasting day along with that we sung songs we enjoyed we kind of tried to dance I'm bad at dancing so I'm saying we kind of tried so dancing singing along the songs that went on from somewhere around 8 to 11 30 and we drive back home i'm still up and running even with 36 hours fast going on like i enjoyed my concert along with that everything yesterday was day before yesterday was my fasting day i wouldn't imagine going out on in texas heat and uh we went to a bunch of stores we went to walmart return some stuff and uh, I went to Costco, bought some food and also some 
some shirts and tied it on took some photos coming back home and i also went to target and bought some jeggings and all these things with that texas heat and also with you know fasting day going on uh, that's like yeah <laughs> I have more energy now and after reading i don't have to take a nap that lethargic feeling that heaviness and a uh, mandatory nap is not there anymore one more point for fasting psychological stress and depression i guess the more the confidence and everything is playing well i'm more cheerful my mood is getting better and uh, depression tendencies are going away little by little it's also a work in progress but i see how it is going to move towards a point towards fasting and oh, regular and the bleeding is regular like a normal period so i'm thinking ovarian cyst also would have reduced poor body image and eating disorder poor body image uh, I would also decline going to social gatherings. I would hate to meet new people. I I hate some go walking into a room with new people. I feel I used to feel so judged when I'm meeting in front of people. It's it's a constant battle. It's I can't even put my finger on it. Like every waking hour, every second, something or the other. It's you are a social animal. You are around people. So it's you have to deal with it but it was so hard every thought getting into your friend maybe they are looking at me maybe they because they're talking to me like that because i'm fat do you think they will think less of me all these thoughts are going on around outside that is and inside you know how how mean we are to ourselves one of the other things i started practicing is i talk to myself as if i'm a kid like as if I'm talking to my own kid that made a lot of difference when there are mistakes done when there are like all these past years why didn't I know how to fast why didn't I check all my insulin resistant symptoms and why did I why did I not work on my diet why was it like this it's my bad that all this have happened I have ruined myself and all these things I talk to like when these thoughts encroach on you I talk to myself as if I'm a kid, as if I talk to my own son. Like, yeah, that's okay. Mistakes happen. It's okay. You're a good work in progress. You're fasting. You're feeling better. Now you have learned. It's okay. Not everybody knows how to do it. Maybe this is the right time, right place. And everything is happening. Everything is falling into place. Uh, and all these things being kinder. See how much determination you have. You have stuck with one meal a day for 100 days it's not an easy feat to do stuff like this i'm talking to myself with a tone of encouragement how would i talk to my son if he has failed and if he has suffering if he has been suffering and if he is bashing himself down i would talk to him in this way in the same way i was trying to talk to myself for a few days like for a couple of months while this is going on while these uh, negative thoughts are encroaching you and blaming myself for not doing something before itself. Uh, I put up my childhood picture when I was three years old or something, like when my, my son was at the same age or something like that, where it looked like him. And I kept a picture of myself on my screen and I was trying to look at it. And whenever negative thoughts came in, I tried to look at it and it was feeling better poor body image right eating disorder um i don't restrict any food i don't count calories i don't feel like i need to complete my plate and instead of putting it in dustbin if there is excess food or something i don't put it in myself it's it's waste anyways like it's doing more harm to me if i'm putting it in myself treating myself as a dustbin instead of going into the trash bin itself i know if i'm full and now i feel satiated and i know that it feels so good to eat something and feeling satiated and like yeah i'm full now i can stop and at that point i can stop <laughs> it's amazing i can stop i don't have to complete my plate i felt full i stopped eating wow it was so easy right and that that never used to happen when <laughs> There is insulin resistance understanding your body having a good relationship with food and food not controlling me anymore is so good relationship with food has improved excessive weight around belly 
the it's it's improving a lot in the past month like alternate fasting it's been 3 weeks and more and i have lost around like 11.2 lbs i don't see that difference in here or in the legs or anything i see a little difference in the belly i'm seeing the difference the fat around the belly is going down and the shirts and the pants are feeling better so i see that it's going it's moving the scale is moving along with that the fat around the belly is going so it's a win for uh, fasting too excessive facial and body hair <laughs> excessive facial and body hair is not going anywhere still there is mustache still there is beard and yeah there is hair on the stomach there is hair on the chest and it's it's there excessive hair is there along with that um, hair thinning is also not going away the hair is falling off like as usual like there is nothing here there is nothing here what i have decided is what how confident i am feeling i wanted to show say from three four days I'm, i kept thinking okay my hair is going to fall off pretty soon in two years maybe i'll be bald so when i'm bald i'm not going to leave it like that i'm going to shave my head completely off by then i'll be so fit and so nice and feeling so confident in my body i'm going to rock that look that's what i thought what may happen it's okay i mean that's stemming from confidence it's no points for fasting but yeah it's stemming from confidence it's okay it's falling off maybe eventually it will get better i don't know but people say with fasting there there is more hair fall so i haven't observed it has increased but there has been uh, hair fall from so long so it's it's always there anyways in couple of years maybe i'll, I'll i'm going to rock that <laughs> shaved head look of mine with chisel jaw and all <laughs> thinning of hair and baldness no point <laughs> no point for fasting but it's okay <laughs> so i'm going to put up all these things like what worked and what is work in progress and what is still going on but we can't do anything about it i'm going to put up those images to fill up easier's warrior this is the time uh, i think you can start with intermittent fasting and time restricted feeding and one meal a day and some days through an alternate day fasting it's gonna be better it's gonna get better uh, this is from my experience and uh, I'm not a medical professional like take your take the advice of your doctor keep your blood levels checked and everything so this is for now thank you take care To know more about the journey, click that subscribe button and to show some love to your girl, click that like button, leave a comment and click that bell icon. See you in the next video. Thank you so much.